You know, there are a lot of annoying chants in the WWE, like what? Sometimes it's good, but over the years it became one of the most, you know, annoying things in wrestling. But there's also another chant in the WWE that is appearing on every damn Monday Night Raw. It doesn't happen on SmackDown, it happens on Raw every week. It's TM Punk. Who the fuck is TM Punk? It's that wrestler, you know, that claims to be the best in the world, and he was great, and he also slept with half of the women's locker room. That is a fact. That is an actual fact. But what does these chants mean in random raw moments? What do they mean? Am I going to tell you that? We'll see. I, were you a good boy? Were you a good boy tonight? Or a girl? Or a trans? Get gender. Then I don't know. Were you good? Do you deserve the list of great one to be presented to you? To be read to you? Are you ready to be fucking entertained? You are? Yeah? Then go watch a freaking movie. I don't have to do anything with it. Five things that CM Punk chants mean in the WWE. We want CM Punk. Yeah, that is the most obvious one. Fans want CM Punk. And that's, you know, not really shocking. He was one of the greatest people on the microphone. He was entertaining as shit. He was kind of telling the truth about the WWE in character, but still, you know, that was what the fans wanted to hear. He was that alternative to John Cena. You know, kids had John Cena. We kind of had CM Punk, you know, he was the older guy's guy, and Cena was, you know, the guy who makes love to kids. Jesus, that sounded terrible. Uh, Cena is the guy who kids love. You know, that, that's what I wanted to say. Jesus. So fans want CM Punk back. Ever since he left, we heard those chants. He left in a huge controversy. And you know, it's kinda... We don't know if he's going to appear. When he returns, I assume when he returns to the WWE, it's going to be too late for him to wrestle. You know, he returns to the WWE when he's going to be old, he won't be wrestling as good as he did, and it will be just, you know, for maybe Hall of Fame, maybe just appearance. You know? But that's one of the reasons why people chant CM Punk's name. This is boring. You see a match between two wrestlers, let's say Titus O'Neil versus Darren Young. Are you really entertained? No, you're not. You are not entertained. I know. You're, if you're telling me you're entertained, you're a liar. I hate liars. Go watch someone else. Go watch, go watch Top 10 Wrestling News Now or whatever his name is. The guy who thinks that everybody is pregnant. He thinks Big Show is pregnant. He thinks Kali is pregnant. He thinks I'm pregnant because I had a broken foot. That guy is crazy. Go watch his videos. Sometimes there are boring moments in the WWE. Boring segments, boring matches, boring... A lot of things are boring in the WWE. So fans, you know, instead of saying it boring, which actually kind of happens a lot, they transform this chant into CM Punk, you know, to tell their distaste for this promo for you know anything you know when it's boring you kind of feel that oh i'm gonna fucking fall asleep you say see i'm punk you can actually use that in real life situations so me and my friend we are in a car you know and the weirdest thing happened i, I was about to cm punk cm punk w what what cm punk cm punk cm punk your your story sucks Something like that. When something is boring, something is not entertaining at all, you have to say something, you know, you have to say your opinion. So I guess that's one of the ways people say that. To piss off the authority. So, you probably noticed, whenever Triple H comes out, whenever Stephanie McMahon comes out, whenever Vince McMahon, Vince, Vince, like Wiener, Vince, Vince McMahon, Vince, how to... How to say it? Vince McMahon. People in the comments always tell me that I cannot pronounce that. Pronounce. Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. Vin yeah. Vince McMahon. So when they come out, you always hear CM Punk chants. Whenever, whatever they are doing, whatever they are saying, there could be an entrance with music. CM Punk chants are happening. You know? 
And you know, you can't say that there were no shots fired back. Stephanie McMahon always fires back the shots. You know, he said that, you know, he's a, you are all losers just like CM Punk, you are all quitters just like CM Punk. And my favorite one was, uh, they chanted for like 10 or 20 seconds CM Punk's name and he, and, and Stephanie McMahon was like, well, that was longer than CM Punk's fight at UFC. Oh, that is very, very, very savage. She's a savage. Randy Savage. Some people will get this joke, some people will not, but I liked it. One of the things that pissed me off, you know, about this chant, when uh, people uh, chanted CM Punk's name when he actually disappeared, you know, after that, it was, you know, in 2014, I guess, or 15, or something like that. It was like two months after he disappeared, or one month, and there was a leaked footage of WWE announcers Michael Cole, Jerry Lawler, and JBL, I guess. And uh, people chanted CM Punk's name and Jerry Lawler was like, more like, go away, go away. That was kind of an asshole move, to be honest. Yeah, I did not like that. They're stupid. You know, maybe this chant, I love this chant actually. It kind of, you know, it makes it entertaining. How the authority is going to react or something. It's kind of good, I like it. However, sometimes, it's not even needed. There is a great segment, for example, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is talking about his injury, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna miss WrestleMania, bro, you know. He's, he's all that emotional. He admits that he did a lot of bad shit in the past. And people are chanting CM Punk for no effing reason. Just, you know, they're like, huh, we are going to be a very entertaining crowd. We are going to chant CM Punk's name. And we're gonna be just like Chicago. We're gonna be, we're gonna make this raw fire. We're gonna make it fire. We're gonna have, we, oh Jesus Christ. Just tune in on Monday Night Raw. We're gonna tear it down with our chants. No, you didn't. You were freaking stupid, you know? It, it, it kind of pisses me off sometimes. Sometimes it's not needed. It kind of ruins the promos. It ruins everything. So, there are some stupid fans who don't even know when or how to use it. They use it for no reason. And the chant is meant for CM Punk's return or when something bad happens. You know? That's the whole damn thing about this chant. And if you don't know that, well, then, I don't know. I don't know, do whatever you want with your life, I don't, I don't care. Your product sucks. Yeah, to kind of conclude, the chant is, <laughs> your product sucks. You know, there is a reason you don't hear these chants on NXT, there is a reason you don't hear these chants on SmackDown Live, and there is a reason why you hear those chants on Monday Night Raw, because a lot of promos, a lot of segments, a lot of rivalries, a lot of shit, is very bad on Raw. So people want to tell their distaste. They're bleh for Monday Night Raw. <coughs> to be fair, I kind of do agree with them. Raw is, you know, there are some a lot of bad stuff. For example, Roman Reigns is push, you know, down our throats. A lot of things that our fans don't agree with the WWE. So fans want to say their distaste. So the fans start to tell their distaste for the product. However, I think. The chant is more of a I hate your product, Raw sucks, than I want CM Punk. You know, people just want to piss off WWE to tell, yeah, I paid the, the ticket, but I would much rather take a massive shit and take a piss than watch your product. Shining Stars vs. Tides O'Neill, I could be taking a big ass shit in a toilet and it'd be more entertaining for me. CM Punk, you know, that type of deal. So these are the five biggest reasons why people chant CM Punk's name, five biggest things that the chant actually means. So let me know in the comments below, do you agree with those chants? Let me know personal experience, let me know if you think these chants are annoying as hell. Let me know in the comments below. How was your day? How was your day? I don't know how, what, like this video, like this video if you want more, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, make sure to click that damn bell button, that damn bell, what, <laughs> that bell button to get all the notifications early, the great one, peace, love and hugs, it's been a pleasure.